You're, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy PJ, aka Iron Man U2, and I'm coming to you with this Call of Duty 4. Yes, Modern Warfare 1 action right now. Oh my god, it is so dark up in here. Your boy can't see. But as you guys see, as you guys know, a lot of stuff been going on lately about the whole infinite warfare crap. And the whole, like, getting 1.5 dislikes on a video, though? God damn, the most disliked gaming video of all time? <sighs> Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. We tired of all this other stuff about Call of Duty. Now, they did claim that the, the game will be on ground. But that trailer, man, that trailer just showed that it was going to be in space and stuff. And, like, some of these guys don't like this stuff. And I also feel for the people who actually want to play COD 4 remastered like 1080p and stuff. Oh shit! This man got a golden desert eagle. No. He came with a golden. Wait, no, that's a regular one. I don't know, but either way, he, like people are just going out here talking about. Oh my goodness! The only way you get to play COD 4 is if you pay 80 dollars and get the I think the Legacy Edition or something like that. Now. I'm not about to be one of those people that pay all that money for that because I just bought COD 4 today and I was like, you know what, let me hop online real quick because I haven't played COD 4 in a while. I already beat the campaign multiple times. Get down to the ground, Mookie boy, your boy, what the fuck? But I already beat the campaign multiple times before on the PS3, Xbox 360. Only reason why I'm ranked like this because it's my first time playing it on this account. Oh shit, I didn't see that guy there. Kill me with a USP. That used to be my favorite pistol by the way. But, anyways, back to the commentary. I have commentary, by the way. So, as I was saying, I used to play COD 4. I love it. I'm not going to say it's one of my favorite Call of Duties. I mean, it did put me on point, though. Like, when I was a little kid, and I saw that fire on the 360, I was like, oh, snap, this thing look real. So, I'm not going to lie. It put me on point. I fuck with Call of Duty 4. It's not my favorite one. My favorite one is more likely MW2. That's the one I am put most time on. Oh, my goodness. He quick scoped me. Nah, he ain't quite scold me, but still. I'm not going to be really good at this game. I'm like only a level 3, as you guys see right there. But, but, I'm still good at Call of Duty. I know I haven't been putting up a Call of Duty video in a while. But that's because I play sports games and stuff. But, I, I'm still going to fuck with it. Uh, who knows? I might be just be playing old Call of Duty, talking about some random crap on my mind. So, you got to stay tuned for that. You guys know, I always switch around my shit. I always change my ideas, saying I'm not going to do this, do that. And I always go back doing it. So, yeah. Anyways, as I was saying. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Juggernaut, bitch. But, yeah, the trailer for Infinite Warfare. I saw it because my friend showed me and I was in his, at his house and stuff. I was like, bro, what in the world is this? Because after playing through the Black Ops 3 campaign, I know this is irrelevant, but... I'm like, is Call of Duty just bugging right now or what? Because all this other stuff doesn't make sense to me. Like, Call of Duty usually have some good ass campaigns, like let's just be real. But Black Ops 3 campaign was so fucking ass and that's all we saw in it. You guys know the trailer is nothing but gameplay. Oh, get down. But the game, ah, <laughs> what am I saying? I haven't done one of these in a while. But as I was... Oh, it's lagging, it's lagging, it's la- Oh, I'm f oh, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn. Okay. But Black Ops 3 campaign was booty butt ass. Let's just be honest, the ending and everything. But they say there might be a Black Ops 4. But Infinite Warfare's trailer, I didn't understand it at all. Like, okay, we're in the future once again where people don't want to go. And it's just going to make everybody hate Call of Duty again. Especially if you think about it, Call of Duty should have just stayed with the present and past. Like, for example, this one right here, Call of Duty 4. I think this one's based in... Oh, this bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> I think this one's based in like 20, 2007 or 2011. I don't, I'm not sure. It was like a little bit in the future, so technically it's a futuristic game. But I forgot when this one was like set in. I know it was made in 2007. 20, 20, 20, yeah, I know it was made in 2007, but I'm trying to figure out where it was placed at. But these other games where it's like in 2050 and all this stuff, like Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2 has some futuristic elements. Bro, die. 
but it never it never actually like went all the way into the future the campaign was in the future what i'm trying to say the campaign was in the future not all this other shit where you fucking boost jump and all that that was done until black ops 3 and bruh Oh my goodness. I gotta redo the commentary. My shit froze. My shit froze. You know what? I'm gonna do the rest of the video on the actual commentary. So yeah.